on this episode of Home Sweet Holly. We drove all the way out here and apparently this place is being renovated. We are Julie and Bobby and this is Toby, our puppy. We live full time in our motorhome, Holly. But we're not just our veers. We have a lot of things that fill our life. We're on a mission to see the country, to serve others, and to show the world that even grandparents can still have adventures. This is our story. Doesn't stop working out even on vacation. Got to look sexy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, what do you want to do today? Uh, maybe go get some lunch, and maybe drive up the mountains or something like that. Okay. Just kind of explore a yeah, little just bit. Just explore a little bit at first. Kind of get the feel of the terrain and yeah. And we also need to go check in at the campground office. Yeah. So um, we could do that and then kind of make a game plan for the rest of the week. Yeah. Here we are at the office. A little easier to see what it looks like in the daylight. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, love. Going to check in. For those that don't really know how campgrounds work, a lot of times if you get in after hours, you just go ahead and pull into your site. They'll leave you a little packet here at the door and then you come in the next morning and pay. So that's nice and convenient. They don't have to have it staffed 24 seven. Look how pretty these hills are. It's gorgeous here. I was kind of hoping for a little more color at this point in the year, but it's still pretty. We are headed up to get some lunch um, at a place called the Chop House, which the lady in the campground office recommended to me. She said, uh, since it's a Saturday in October, we don't want to head south because um, all the tourist areas are going to be very congested today. And so she recommended we head up north, closer to Knoxville. Um, right off the freeway there's uh, this place she recommended this. Okay, here we are at the Chop House. And the Beef Jerky Outlet, so there's that. All right, let's check this place out. I'm good and hungry this morning. Yeah, me too. Slept in too late for breakfast, so. But boy, did I enjoy it. Hi. Hello. Hi. We need a table for two, please. A uh, booth, please. Thanks. Any idea what you're going to get yet? No, new place. Don't have a clue yet. <laughs> Me either. I'm going to have to take a while to look over this. Alright, so did you decide? Uh, yes, I'm going to get the chicken, uh, grilled chicken uh, sandwich. Cool. And I decided on crispy chicken tenders. And then if you want, we can split them and share them. Sounds good to me. Okay, sounds good. Mm. Looks yummy. 
It does. We decided to go for the mozzarella wedges as our appetizer, and they look so scrumptious. I can't wait to dig in. Uh, and I'm sure Bobby's going to stretch out the cheese to make sure they're good. Can, yeah, oh, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Wrap it around. So you approve then, I guess. I approve, yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that steam coming off of that. Mm -hmm. so far. Oh yeah, this looks good. Mm, so we're gonna split this up so we can each sample some of it. You want this lettuce That's tomatoes? mac and cheese, huh? Yep. Oh, of course I want the veggies. Okay, so what did you think? Uh, very good if you're in Tennessee. You need to come to the chop house. It's a very good place. Yeah, I definitely give it a thumbs up. I really enjoyed the food. The atmosphere was beautiful. The music was awesome. The waitress was great. Um, and everything we ate was scrumptious. So, I say so, yes. Most yeah, definitely. definitely recommend this place. Headed out to a historic mill um, that I saw on TripAdvisor that looked interesting. We like visiting historic sites and old buildings, and so we thought we'd come take a little drive out here today and enjoy the scenery and come see what this is all about. the historic downtown and we've seen some really cool houses. Oh very cool. Continue for 10 miles. Yeah. Well, we drove all the way out here and apparently this place is being renovated and so there's all kinds of junk lying all around. I think I was able to get a couple of pictures that might be usable and it's just cool being here. I mean, you can still feel the history here and everything. Um, it would be very cool if water was running over the wheel. are definitely renovating and it's going to be really cool when they're finished. I think 
got some cool stuff up here in the front. Looks like maybe they're going to turn it into a shop of some sort or maybe a visitor center or something, but it's just, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of really cool things to look at here. It's just kind of uh, junked up at the moment. So maybe we'll have to come back in a couple of years and see what they've done with the place. It is pretty cool to look at though, even in this condition, just to see the history here. This was built in 1880, it said on the side, on the sign. And then of course the scenery here is just gorgeous. And the drive out here was definitely worth it even if it didn't pan out. So we're gonna go back, we saw a sign for some caverns. So we're going to go check those out and then uh, back the way we came there were some barns and things that we want to get some pictures of so we'll just have some fun with it anyway. All right here we are at Forbidden Caverns. We saw a sign down the road for this and we know nothing about it, but what the heck, we'll give it a try. Maybe they'll have a sticker for our book. All right, so here is a, I guess, map of the cave. We're just waiting to go in. They're gonna call us in a few minutes. Are you excited? I am. Bobby's a bit of a cave man. He likes going to I caves. I love doing this stuff. I'm short, I can fit in small places. <laughs> Maybe short-wise, but not this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's a nice little place in here to wait while we are waiting for the tour to start. Let's go see what's over here. Hmm. Gift shop. All right, so what did you think of the Forbidden Caves? It was pretty cool. What was your favorite part? Getting kissed. Getting kissed. Which mm -hmm. time? Your time. Oh, <laughs> I see. So if you get drops of water on you from the stalactites while you're in the cave, they say it's a cave kiss, but apparently he likes the real ones better. I do, but I like the, the, <laughs> uh, the cave ones as well because it tells us you get good luck. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, so I thought the moonshine stuff was pretty cool. The artifacts from all the moonshiners, just because it was just kind of different to see that in a cave. I've been in caves before, but never seen. This is actually the first time I heard of that. Yeah, but I mean, cave. it makes sense that they would hide in a cave, right? 
So anyway, it was very cool, and we weren't allowed to take video in there, but we did take some pictures. So and highly recommended the go. Yeah, it was very fun. Here's the Bushes factory that we drove past before. It's huge. It's just right out here in the middle of the country. Yes. We still don't know the secret recipe. Gorgeous little road here. And we're going to see a historic covered bridge that was built in 1875. our video, hit subscribe and the bell next to it and then you'll get to see a lot more. Easy peasy. This is my favorite part of the day right here. Relaxing, enjoying the fire. Got my dog on my lap. Hi Toby. You like the fire? Yeah, you're probably a little chilly with that haircut you got there. <sighs> did you have fun today? I did. What was your favorite thing today? Hmm. I had a cave. You know, me in caves. Yeah, the cave was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty nice. It was. 55 in there, I believe, what she said it was, temperature-wise. Yeah, it was. And plus, it was beautiful. <laughs> it was cool. Now we got Rip War on Fire. Yep. And I would say my favorite part was probably driving around taking pictures, because you know me and pictures. It was a good day.